there. Do not hesitate if you wish to live.
got you this far. Still, what a worthless bunch. I can't believe they couldn't stop a lone cyborg. Ziggy, this is the guy. Yeah, I know. Looks like I'm about to get some decent exercise. And this baby's quite pleased as well. Momo, be careful. He's no ordinary enemy.
What's wrong? Is that all you got? Something wrong? No, it's nothing. Momo, find a trade column and short jump us out of here. I want to get back on our return path once we shake off the pursuit. Okay. Cooking be any good. But, Captain, you're stuffing your face. Ah, shut up. Don't disturb a man when he's eating. Water. Sure. You do quite a lot. Really? This is pretty typical for me back home. I have my no good brother to thank for that. He doesn't do a thing all day except sit around and read books. <laughs> well, there's no one on this ship that has any of your skills. That's a shame. I guess that's what happens when you have an entirely male crew. You got that right. Normally, there's not even a hint of estrogen on this ship, so you can forget about having a good meal. Who usually does the cooking around here? We take turns. 
Not that it matters, because the cooking's always bad. There is one person on board who does nothing but eat. Um, what's that? Water! Sure. Chief, um, can I have some water too? Oh, sorry. I hadn't noticed. Hadn't noticed? gonna do now? Well, we certainly can't leave Cosmos to her own devices, can we? She's functioning independently. <sighs> and to think, we were supposed to get vacation time once we completed the startup experiment. We turned her over to the second division. <laughs> You're starting to sound a lot like the captain. There's no use crying over spilled milk, you know. The first thing we need to do is to contact headquarters and ask for instructions. So I guess we're stuck with these guys for a little longer. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I got a little suspicious, so I checked this ship's registry. Did you know that these guys are with the Kukai Foundation? That place is bad news. I heard a rumor that it's just crawling with mutants. Hey, that's kind of a racist comment. Listen, Alan. Sure, it's a well-known fact. The Kukai Foundation was established by the Milshin government as a specialized military group. But they only held that status until the completion of the post-war proceedings. Although, they haven't gotten around to demilitarizing quite yet. They're being run like any other valid foundation nowadays. You know, as a matter of fact, their current director received a lot of praise for taking in and protecting victims in the days before the Species Preservation Act. He's really to be commended. Now, what was his name? Gainan Kukai. Oh, <laughs> chaos. <laughs> What's up? Oh, I just dropped in to see if there was anything I could help out with. Oh, thanks. We could use some help drying the dishes. Sure thing. Phew, that's everything. Yep. Huh, what's this? Oh, that's for the commander. Come to think of it, he didn't join us for dinner, did he? No, and I even called him. Oh well, I'll just heat it up and take it to him. Well... How about we call it a day? Good idea. Oh. Did you forget something? No, but where did Cosmos go? Oh, Cosmos? She's being tuned in her service module down in the hangar. It'll probably take a few more hours. <laughs> oh, did you want to go down and talk to her? I'm sure she'd like that. Oh, really? Of course. Thanks. See you later. Bye.